Welcome to Hemmings Garage. Um, when I first walked into this garage, the first thing I saw was this little A100. And I've been in love with these since I was a little kid. Uh, my father and I traveled across the country in an A100 Sportsman. I learned to do my first timing chain in Buffalo, New York in one of these. So we're gonna get this one up and running and this is gonna be the new shop truck. And gonna be happy to drive this one around, I can tell you that. All right, so as I found this truck, it literally had no brakes in it. Somebody had started to repair them, but had basically left everything set in the back. Trying to figure out the rear brakes when there was no side to reference was a little bit fun, but got that done. Got a new master cylinder, and unfortunately that has a crack in it. Brand new means nothing nowadays. So I do have another brand new one that we need to put in after that. Uh, I put water in the coolant system and up until five minutes ago it was holding water just fine. Now the water pump's leaking, that's to be expected. Um, we spared you the pain of getting the fuel tank in, the filler hose, gas line hose, vent line, all that. A little bit tight and tough in these things. And now basically we're going to put a battery in it, throw some gas down its carburetor, see what happens. But as I was poking around here, I noticed we have a mouse chew on one of our plug wires. Through no great effort, find an old set of wires. There we go, that won't work. Steal the battery from the popper. No spark, nothing is on. Give it a minute and make sure no smoke, no fire. That needs a little work. All right. Here we go. Nothing's hot. Sounds like we might have something here. Gas down the throat. It's nice to know if you do have a fire, you're in a confined space. Does not sound good. Have some spark. A little more fuel. What could go wrong? Fuel pump works. <laughs> uh, float, however, does not. All right, let's see that again. She is flooded now. Wicked rich.
dredging. Fuel gauge says no. Do we have lights? Coming back into it, just slowly. Give her some time. <laughs> oh, I wish I had my phone. <laughs> the things we do. We don't even know if the clutch works. <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Clutch. tell you how cool of a feeling this is for me. Back in 86, my father and I drove across the country in a 66 van. 318 small block. I had a great trip. Read about Buffalo, the timing chain went. As a 15 year old, it was my first time doing a timing chain. Just about where the camera guy is sitting right now. The beauty of it, we were out of the weather even though it was an October day. Never forgot that trip and driving this right now just brings me right back. It's incredible, it's awesome. Truth be told, the van ran about as good as this one does. <laughs> Nothing a tune-up can't fix. And well, a clutch and a rear main seal and a radiator, a water pump. Definitely needs a water pump. Oh. There we go. Well, there it is. 22 years sitting in the museum. She's up and running. Definitely needs a tune-up. Going to need a clutch. A few other things to go through, but I can't tell you how excited I am to drive one of these again. It has been, oh my goodness, 40 years since I've driven one? No, 30-something years. 35 years since I've driven one. And it's absolutely awesome. Can't wait to get it up and running and use it as a shop truck. Once again, stay tuned and thank you for watching.